MB10 day 02, Friday the 21st of June 2019. It's just started to rain. Time 0750, full up with lots of Premier in all you can eat bacon. This is the brewery square. That is the old brewery. And there's some booming equipment and Eldridge Street, as in Eldridge Pope. Yeah, look at the roof. Anyway, spoons need to blog. Well, it turns out there was a bit of an audio issue with yesterday's video. Roughly at the beginning where some tracks, audio tracks were overlaying others. I'm not really sure why that happened, however, and I think there's only one way to correct it, which is to redo the video. Which I might when I get back and leave the original up for comparison. Anyway, I think this is a mild. It mentions that it's rich, smooth, mild and satisfying, so that would seem to be a mild. Nailers Velvet, 4% alcohol by volume. Looks nice. Yeah. Because the bar doesn't open at 7 o'clock in the morning, got the water to start. Mm. Quite fruity, quite malty. A little tingly. I'm not going to show that's a mile, but it's nice. It's very nice actually. B plus in the bed. Tom Brown's and the Dorset Brewing Company's home pub. I'm not sure if you call it a tap. And it should be open now. I have a habit of pubs not being open though. We'll see. Well, that explains it. Um, so it looks like it's been taken over. Um, there was a Marston sign outside there. And there was a sign in the window saying you could bring it on food. Last time I was there, it turned into a bit of a gas grill pub. And it also said they're not until three in the week. Dependent on pest of demand. Yeah, that's a shame. Anyway, so back in spoons. This is Burton, out of my Burton Bridge Brewery. 4.8% alcohol by volume. <laughs> It is slowly clearing. Glass is a little bit cold. The beer is a little bit cold. They ain't mine. Definitely not mine. Mm. Somewhat fruity. Somewhat nice. B plus in a bit. Well behaved. No children, no rattle, no rattle, lots of blue. <sighs> More hop head from Dark Star. They are. They like the beers. Anyway, 3.8% alcohol by volume. And it's all very pleasant. Mm. Let's be plus in a bit. Nice and gentle. Hazy and fruity ciders, the other thing. This is just hazy. Thatcher's hazy. 4.5% <laughs> alcohol by volume, semi local. Keg not box. A little bit sweet, as the fruity. I do prefer something a little bit drier. Be plus one. As it says on the tin, it's just down by there. Oh look, action video. Beer. Bar. You can't beat the convivial rabbit. Made friends already, I don't know them. 
Anyway, um, Boho Bitter, brewed in the heart of East London, 4.1% alcohol by volume, three sods brewery. What a name. Anyway, there's McKellar in the front. French? Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, that's... There's a sort of sweet maltiness. Nice bitterness. Yeah, that's big plus in a bit. This. This is Beach Towel in Paradise. 4.5% alcohol by volume. A pineapple and live, live, lime goes from Red Cat Brewing. Real falling, Mr. Manning. Real quality bar. Real half. Gently sour. Nicely fruity. A hint of sherbetiness in there. B plus in a bit. I don't have a red shrimp. A Pilsner from McKellar. 4.6% alcohol by volume. It's warm out, so this is out of the fridge. And there's another one. Anyway, mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the aroma. That could be my nose. Mmm, quite sharp. A little bit fruity. Happy solstice. B plus on a bit. A rather poor pour. I have to blame myself for that. This is here in the mailbox. Again from McKellar. I think it's about, I can't remember, 6.3%. It's strong from Copenhagen. It's really got rough. <laughs> it's really rather good. It has a slight fruity nose. It's strong. It's fruity. It's malty. It's zooming in. It's B plus in a bit. It's rather good. 